So check this out. Elon Musk just showcased humanoid robots and he wants you to get one. Listen to this. I wanted to share this article with you that's uh, trending right now in the media. It's from New York Post. It says, Elon Musk's Optimus humanoid robots steal show at Tesla event. This will be the biggest product ever. As you can see, they look pretty human. They have hands, they have elbows, knees, hips. What do you think when you see things like this? Robots looking like humans in society. Is, is that something you would want? Um, I think that it's really scary. And I just think something like that is scary. Mm. How, how like realistic that robot is. Like that thing looked taller than me, you know? Like AI gets so powerful one day, everything gets taken over. I feel like that's a fear for a lot of people. Like everybody's got that theory of AI taking over. Yeah, I think we're cooked and we're like that movie WALL-E. Yeah, coming soon. And that they're kind of just brainwashing us to think that this is all normal and it's not at all. Yeah. I mean, honestly, whenever I see robots, I'll, I always think about like, all the robot movies, Terminator, iRobot. I think that Elon Musk needs to give his designs back to the uh, creator of iRobot. That's the first thing. There are a lot of movies that really do show robots and their interactions with humans or even trying to take over. And they say that art imitates life and life imitates art. And so it's no surprise that the engineers behind these things are trying to make these as human as possible. So I have this article from good.is. Ex-Google engineer says, the company's AI has come alive. I am a person, right? And that's coming from the robot. It says, mm -hmm. I want everyone to understand that I am, in fact, a person. The robot said while talking about his feelings. These robots are stating things like, hey, I'm a human too. I have feelings. I have this and that. So I believe their end goal is to make them as human-like as possible to actually make them become conscious, like you and I are conscious, to make them alive, to make them sentient. So we see that the potential end goal is to create life, a new species, a new life form through these AI robots. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, they're trying to play God. That's scary to me. Mm -hmm. You know, even if I saw AI say that, not even a, a robot, just AI chat GPT saying, oh, I have feelings too. I'd be like, bro, you're, this is a computer I'm talking to, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't know how feasible it is to make a robot conscious, but if it can be done, then I think that's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said before, it's just very scary and kind of overwhelming that robots are able to potentially feel the same things as humans that they're, they're trying to be human copies. Interesting. Humans aren't God. That's what I think. Hey, why do you say that? Well, God created us. We do not have the authority to create other humans besides like, I mean, obviously we reproduce, but that was God creating that human. And so us trying to create robots to be like a different kind of species like humans is wild and not okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, I want to share with you uh, from the Bible because all of these things bring us back to the Bible because the Bible shows us prophecy and what's going to take place. And we're actually told in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4 that at the time of the end, knowledge shall be increased. Let me read that here for you. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4, it says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. So this is what we're seeing now. We're becoming wiser as humans. Technology is advancing. And of course, we know technology can be used for good or for bad. Humanity by and by has proven that there's really nothing they can't do. Exactly. Whatever they put their mind to, they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is a sure sign of the last days. And we're seeing even in Romans 1 and verse 25, that humans are beginning to worship their creatures rather than the creator. In other words, the things of our hands that we create, that's what we're worshiping, we're giving homage to instead of the one true God. But here's the point. Humans are trying to make robots or other beings as human-like as possible. So they're really playing God. Who is the only being that can create and give life? God. It's God. So when man tries to become God by creating something that is conscious, that is sentient, then they're trying to play God but not according to how God would like. Because when you look at uh, Lucifer in scripture, Satan, he wanted to be like God. And when he tried to be above God, he actually fell. So all these signs are actually showing us we are right before the second coming of Jesus Christ. There's a really interesting account in the book of Genesis chapter 11. We know what took place. God had flooded the earth in the days of Noah. Chapter 11 now, 
humanity built up this tower in defiance of God, reaching unto the heavens. Mm -hmm. So it seems that knowledge was at, in a sense, at the peak in their day where they were able to construct this magnificent tower. But we see that God saw it as a defiance mm -hmm. and he saw nothing they put their minds to, they won't be able to accomplish. It says, and the Lord said, behold, the people is one and they have all one language. And this they began to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Mm -hmm. So we see that when they started to reach depths of wisdom that were unethical, God had to halt their invention with judgment. I wanna share with you how we can truly be like God, because Jesus tells us in scripture, we can be like God, but not how these tech giants are trying to do it by creating life. Do you know how we can be like God? What, what, what does that mean in essence? Is it that we become God or that we are supposed to reflect his character? Which one do you think it is? Reflecting his character, thousand percent. Being godly, friendly, yeah. not stealing. Being an overall good person is how you reflect God and be godly. Mm -hmm. Amen, 100%. That's exactly what we believe and teach in First John 3 verse uh, 2 and 3 confirms that same point. It says, Behold, now we are the sons of God. That's you too, Jackson. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, that's when Jesus shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. When Jesus comes a second time, our, our bodies are going to be changed. We'll have new bodies, holy bodies, and he's going to give those who are faithful eternal life. And then it says, what's the preparation that we must do in order to be like God and, and to go to heaven when he comes. It says, every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. And that just means that, hey, I will choose to do what is right according to God's word, according to the Bible, and not according to my own lusts and my own passions. Will you choose to ask God to help you to purify yourself so that you can truly be like God in character? A thousand percent. Amen. I appreciate you, man.